Sad to say it, but tonight I gave up on the hype train motors. So, a couple weeks ago, I had a bad crash. Well, it, I think that's what the thing is. It wasn't even a bad crash. These particular motors do not do well when they impact on the bottom. And I had an impact on the bottom. And you can see it trashed the bells. So, tonight, I sat down and I thought, okay, I'm either in this thing for another 20 bucks, which is two bells, or I'm in this thing for a whole new set of motors because I'm not gonna buy two new motors and keep running the risk of the problems I have with the, the hype trains. Now, here's the deal. I may be among the minority, but I love the way the hype trains fly. I like the way they fly. They feel good to me. They're what I am used to. I have flown them for over a year and I've had two episodes where I go out and I fly concrete and it has destroyed the front motors, both front motors, both times. And it is super frustrating because quite honestly, I, look, I'm the kind of guy like when I go to a restaurant, if I find that one thing that I really like. That is what I'm going to eat until the cows come home. And it's the same way with these motors. I really like the way they fly. I can put different props on them to get different feels. I feel like they're versatile, but they're delicate. And so as much as it absolutely crushes me to say it, I am going to retire my hype trains. They have done well by me for over a year, but I honestly cannot invest in more motors that I can't fly over concrete. Um, the, the, the amount of flying that I do over fields is pro hopefully, please Lord, hopefully, going to diminish. And as a result, I can't have something with delicate bells. Um, you know, I know that they redesigned the bell on the original hype train. I don't know if that made a difference or not. Uh, I didn't keep track of, I have one new bell on the front and it's still toasted. Uh, so I, I don't, I, I don't really know. So with all that said, uh, I'm going to be retiring a lot of equipment. Uh, I'm going to be retiring my old X racer F303 board my uh, favorite OSD. Uh, I'm going to the Pyroflip F4 with the, uh, I don't know, whatever Surge put on sale for 50 bucks. Uh, I found out that Richard Shelton has the MB Primo 2207 2550s on sale. I love those motors, honestly. I've flown them for a little bit, and I flew the 2450s, so I haven't flown, flown the 2550s, but quite frankly, I'm very excited about that purchase. Um, so those should be arriving soon. I'm going to de disassemble the one build, reassemble. I'm gonna keep my MQC Fusion frame for the time being, and we'll see how it goes. I am pretty bummed that I have to retire the hype trains. Uh, but I mean, the whole, the whole quad was themed on the hype trains. It had black everything and black this and black that. And, um, you know, y'all, if any of you have been here for a while, you know that I did a, a, a whole series called the hype train. Um, but it is what it is. So, you know, I bear no ill will to Drew and Jeff and the rest of the Red Riot crew. Um, uh, I'm not one to cast aspersions or, or be upset, uh, but I am, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed because something that I really, really like has got to go the way of the Dodo. 
and who knows maybe what i build next will fly better and feel better but we'll just have to see anyways i haven't made a video in a while i wanted to get this out to you guys give you an update by the way freaking tsunami season like it has been raining for days i actually saw noah's boat float by the other day on the road and it had like do not pass on the back of it it was terrible so this is like the doldrums of fpv this this time of year like where it's it, i'm here in the in the southeast it's a little bit cold and really rainy and i need to put on galoshes just to get from my house into my shed which is where i film someday I, if you guys by the way if you guys want to see a tour of the shed the shed quarters you let me know because i will do it we can tour the shed quarters this is where i work this is where i do fpv building this is where i edit i mean everything happens in here besides like sleeping and eating and family time so if you guys want to see that you just let me know but uh anyways retiring the hype trains and um by the way don't tell my wife that I just spent another hundred dollars on FPV because I didn't necessarily clear it with her first and it'll be a surprise to both of us. It'll be great. She's, she'll understand. She'll understand. All right. I'm out. Like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell, do a handstand. Like if seriously, if you can do a handstand, do a handstand it's really good for the core and i don't know if you can see this but i got a big core and i could do some extra handstands all right i'll talk to you later bye